Assalamu alaikum, welcome to SAT practice. Today we're going to do some extra world problem. So let's start with the first one. Uh, two cars start at the same point and travel in opposite directions. So we start from the same point. That's mean we have a car A. Start from this point, travel to this direction. And we have another car B. Start from this point and travel in this direction. If one car travel at 40 miles per hour, so this car travel at 40 miles per hour, and uh, the second one travel at 60 miles per hour. So how much time will pass before they are 210 miles apart? That's mean the time Expand before they, they become like 210. So if they start at the same time, that means to reach this position, at the same time this one reach this position, they spend the same time. So the time is the same, t is the same. The distance travel is not the same because the velocity they are not the same. So this one has travel t one and this one has traveled the two but we know that the sum of this distance is 210 so we know that d1 plus d2 is 210 so what is d2 so d2 in fact is mean that the times velocity so d2 is 60t plus d2 so d1 plus d2 so i will have 60t plus one oh five t now to solve find t, so what we do, we divide what's up by answer. Yes, I didn't. 10, so I said it's t. Question. Question. So it's... 0.25 is equal to the value of x plus 32 nickel which is 0 0.05 so what is x so here I multiply the whole equations by 100 because I don't want to deal with the decimal so I will end up having 25x equal 5 times x plus 32 now I distribute the 5, so I got 25x equal 5x plus 160, so minus 5x put side, so I got 20x equal 160 divided by 20, so x will be 8, so a is my choice. Next question. Steve has 5.25 nickel and dimes. That means it has 5.25 in nickels and dimes. But you don't know the quantity of nickels, so it's going to be x times 0.05 plus y times 0.10, which is the value of the nickel and the value of the, uh, the value of the nickel and the value of the dime. So if he has 15 more dime than nickel, that means if it's uh, y is 15 plus x, which is the quantity of nickel. So here, what I do here, I'm gonna so I'm gonna multiply again by 100 because I don't want to deal with decimal. So we end up having 525 equal 5x plus 10y. Then I substitute y by its value because I'm looking for the nickel. So we'll have 
5x plus 10 times 15 plus x equal 525 so I distribute so 525 will be equal to 5x plus 150 plus 10x so combine like terms and move that to the other side so minus 150 so I got 15x this is 573 so to my answer next question and quarter so uh, number this so we have x times 0 0.5 plus x times point 25 which is the value of the quarter and the nickel and the total is 7.50 again I don't want to deal with decimals so I'm spread out in by 100 so I got 5x plus 25x equal 750 so similar terms so 30x equal 550 so divide by 30 so x will be so 25 so it's going to be 25p is my answer next question Richard lived to visit his friend who lived 200 miles down interstate 10 so uh, this is how I do this so Richard left which is 200 miles the whole the total distance is 200 miles so I will put it here after one hour later his friend Steve which is here lives to visit Richard via the same uh, interstate if Richard drive at 60 mile per hour that means the velocity of Richard is 60 mile per hour so and Steve 40 mile that means the velocity of Steve is 40 mile per hour so how many miles will Steve have driven when he they cross after one, one Richard uh, start try because we know that the distance the velocity is the distance so which mean that time it is giving the distance so after one this means that between Richard and uh, Steve is hundred and four we're gonna start when after the Richard travels 60 miles Steve leave uh, drive span is the same times the 60 mile so which means that if Steve travel D mile mile Time after that point as that time traveled by Steve. You see, after that point, I mean the time here will be the so the velocity is the same because we have the velocity, so we know Richard, which is. And the velocity of C 
give, which is 40. I multiply both side by t. That's 140 minus d equal 60 t. And here. I uh, multiply here by 3. I'm going to 82d and 120t equal 3d transitive property of equal sign. So which means that those two are equal. So I got two. I add to the equals so divide by five both sides. So that's the will says five. So it's gonna be fifty five and a. At one fifteen in so this is one PM. So the ship A leave the port travel at a velocity of fifty mile per hour. So three hours later just mean after the we know that the velocity is the distance over time so that's mean I will have the distance equal t times the velocity so after three hours which mean after the ship a travel 45 mile so ship b leave the same port at the same direction that's mean the, 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 leave the, this port at this point and travel but at the same time ship a is keep traveling so yeah, this is see this is the time when the ship b leave the port so that's mean at 4 p.m after three hours so this will keep traveling and this one traveling at 25 mile and it's gonna catch the ship a so the velocity of that one is 25 mile per hour so you see when this one start from here it's gonna catch it at that point that's mean this from that point the time spent by ship a to reach that location is the same thing as the time spent by ship b to reach this location so the time here are the same so here the time is the same with the distance travel now together is the same that's mean the distance with the first ship is 45 mile plus the time time the velocity of the first ship which is 15 t is twenty five times t the velocity times t so those distance are the last fifteen t t so i minus fifteen t both side Then t so I, so the term four point so this is how much time we took b to catch 
Sheep A, Sheep B pass. Pass Sheep A. Just need to examine. So if it's see the poor one. So it's gonna catch it after four hours. I just need to add four hour and a half here. So this is when the sheep B will pass sheep A. So and one minute. A car travels miles, so we know that the velocity, because here that's called the speed, is the distance over time. So here my distance is z, and the time I have the combination between hour and minute, and they want mile per hour. So I just mean to change minute to hour. So to change minute to hour, what we do, we always divide the minute by 60. So like one hour is 60 uh, minutes it's 60 minutes so what I do here if I divide by 60 so I get 160 hour is 1 minute Now if I turn both sides by y, so if I have y over 60 hour is y minute. You see the idea? So now I will put here x hour plus y minute, which is y over 60 in terms of hour. Now if I make a common denominator, I will have z over 60x plus y over 60. If I divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. I just need to move the 60 up, so it's going to be 60 over 60, 60z over 60x plus y. So b is my answer. So I've come And this mean we have the sand, which is 30 over 100. So this is my discount, which means if I want to find out the price, I just need to multiply here by 100. And after that, divide by 30. which means that I always go faster than my hand. So this will give me 300. This is the price. Now if I reduce by 20%, so what we do, we just need to use this formula. So the price after discount is the original price minus the discount, which is the price minus the rate of the discount, which is 20% time the original price so here times 300 minus 60 which is 40 so this is the price after my charge In class of 40 students, the number of students who pass have the number of students pass the uh, science exam. Just mean the math is half science. So uh, each student in the class pass at least one of the tests. Just mean no one fell. So if five students pass both exam. So that's mean I have to reduce five because both of them pass both exams. So that's mean the new equation will become half 
has minus 5. Number of total of student is 40. Total of people of passing for the math, which is M, so uh, I multiply both sides by. So I add five both side, so two. M is five equal forty. So I add five both sides. I call my like terms. So so M will be fifteen, and C is my answer. Three second. We have a train with L, and the train passed that pole. You see that pole? This is my pole in T second. That's mean when we move the train and it passed the pole, it took that pole T second. It took that 20 seconds to pass the pole. That means the whole length of the train passed the pole. So it took T seconds to have the whole length of the train pass the pole, which is the length L. So which means that if we want to do the calculation of the velocity, so the velocity is going to be the length over t, which means that t times the velocity will be the length of the train, and the velocity is velocity of the train. So if the same train traveling at the same velocity pass a platform in three seconds, so we have a platform, that means we have a platform like this, and the same train so if I take that train and I put it here and it's past the platform that's mean what happened is if this platform is X you see so I say what is the distance traveled by the train to pass this platform in T seconds so look at the idea it's I'm moving the train it's gonna pass the platform so it keep moving you see what is the total distance traveled by the train? So it's past the platform, but it keeps going. Look at this. That's mean the distance traveled by the train, in fact, is what is the platform plus the length of the train. This is the distance traveled by the train, is x plus l. So the velocity of the train here become what is x plus l over the time, which is 3t. So which means that I will have 3TV is equal x plus L. And we know that TV is L. So I will have TL equal x plus L. So when we minus L, I got 2L will be my x. That means the length of this platform is twice the length of the train. So D is my choice. Next question. If two worker can assemble a car in a worker hour, so another worker can assemble the car in 12 hours. So then how long it will take uh, the two worker to uh, the two worker together to assemble the car. So that's mean the velocity of the two worker is 1 over 8 because the one car divided by the number of time spent to repair or to assemble the car 
plus the speed of the other worker, which is 1 over 12, is going to give me the speed when they work together. So here, so it's, uh, it's simple equation. We make common denominator. What's the common denominator here is 24. So I multiply here by 3, I multiply here by 2. So I got 3 plus 2 over 24 is 1 over t, which means that 5 over 24 equal 1 over t. So if I flip this, I will flip this one. So this mean t will be 24 over 5, which is uh, 4 and 4 fifths power. So E is my answer. Of A. A and C, so that's mean B, A plus two, which means that what B is A, A plus C. If B is two years younger than A, that's mean I will have B plus two is A, and they give me C is 32. So then the age of B must be, so what I do here, I substitute A by B plus 2, so I got 2B equal B plus 2, substitute C by 32. So then I know that 2B is B plus 34 minus B both side. So B will be 34. So D is my answer. Next question. So the age of three people are such that are such that the age of one person is twice the age of the second person. So it's twice B. And three times the third person. Three C. The sum of the age of the three people is 33. So if I take A plus B plus C is 33. So uh, then the age of the youngest, which is the C, so uh, is so what I do here, I multiply the whole thing by uh, 2 because I have 2B. So I will uh, substitute 2B by 3C. So I multiply the whole thing by 2, and I know 2A is going to be 6C. So it's going to be 2A plus 2B plus 2C equals 66. So we know that 2B is 2B is 3C, so it's going to be 3C plus will be in that element. C equals 66, divide both sides by 11, so C So, so I hope you got the idea how to deal with the SAT word problem, so please be aware of presenting and teaching. Thank you.